Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post weekly workouts so that you can stay strong, fit and fierce with me each and every week. If you're new here, make sure that you consider subscribing. Today's garter toss legs comes from our bridal boot camp series. We're going to be sculpting out beautifully strong, sexy legs. I'll be utilizing a chair for this series to give myself a bit more support within our leg work. If you don't have a chair, maybe hang on to a countertop or even a wall. If you are loving my workouts, I want you to click that like button below and show me some love. Now let's get ready for our garter toss legs. All right guys, let's get started in our turned out second position. Pull the belly in, gently externally rotate those toe tips. Drop the shoulders firmly down the back. We're gonna take a grand plie. Take it down for two counts and then pull back in for two. Take it down, push energy out and then bring it back into a prayer palm. Lower down for two counts. Zipper up the core and press. Lower down, now lengthen through that tailbone, press. Down for two counts. Squeeze and press. Down and stretch. Squeeze, really finding your abductors at the top range of motion. Warming up those legs for those strong, sexy legs here. From here, let's take little tiny pulses down. So we press, palms go right into that sternum. Give me that little tiny micro pulse here. Continuously draw the navel into the spine. Find that slight curl of the tailbone so that our booty is not poking backwards. Working through those thighs here, start to feel that burn in those thighs. Let's alternate right, then left. Bring up that heel nice and strong, right out to that side body. Push, press, right, press, then left. Going right away into our side leg lift. So we're gonna lift and lower press. Now bending through that bottom leg and press. If you wanna make this more challenging, hover the leg off the ground, lift. And I'm just using a chair here just to support the body. If you're feeling extra spicy today and you want to challenge yourself further, maybe you go without any stability. Maybe you go without and you're just one leg standing here. Reach and press. Pull the belly and drop those shoulders down. Now, if your leg doesn't go this high, absolutely fine. I do want you to feel the gluteal contraction, the oblique contraction at the top range of motion. So we hug, squeeze and press. Hold it right here and we pulse. So I want you to pulse right into that ankle, continuously dropping those shoulders way down the back, zipper up that core, stay nice and strong here, up and around. Press and reach from here. We're gonna go right away into those baby flex pulse circles. Up and around. Inhale, exhale. So a strong, stabilized leg here. There's a slight bend within your bottom leg. Woo, start to feel the booty burn here. We are sculpting those gorgeous legs. Now let's take it up and around continuously lifting through your right side body so don't slump into it really lift up and out take caution of your form to always stay in that form never release within that form that derriere is burning let's move right along from here we take it into a toe tap reach into an arabesque stretch and then we pull back up stretch belly pulls in and then we reach back up. Again, reach, elongate, stretch your toe tip away. Stretch through the back of the knee. So elongate for me, press, and then bring it back up with control. Dropping the shoulder firmly down, feel the reach in opposition. Pull back up. You might feel a slight pinch through your back. That's okay, as long as you're pulling your belly in tightly. It would be different if you were allowing your belly to hang out and you were not supporting your back. So make sure that you're keeping those low abdominals really taut here. Press, reach, and lengthen. Let's hold that arabesque pulse. So a gentle external rotation within your left leg here. Keep it going. Keep moving strong, stay with me. Can you stretch that foot a little bit further here? Moving right along. We bend the bottom leg, 
We take it into an attitude. Bring it back into coupe. Pull up attitude. Slowly come down. So I want you to find the strength through the derriere here. Just very light fingertips on the chair or whatever item that you're gently hanging on to here. Pull and then gently come down. Sweeping the arm up and then gently coming back. Reach and press. Stay with it and reach. This is another place where you might start to feel your back or just strengthening the back as well. But again, not too much opening within the rib cage. Still want to close through those ribs. Still want to see that nice form here. Hold it up. Pulse. Squeeze that derriere. Press. Lift and lengthen. Breathe. Lift through the chest. High chest here. Squeeze and sculpt. Press and reach. One last one. Breathe. Inhale and exhale out. We've got the opposite side to do. Reach that right arm nice and strong out to side body. We're going to begin to lift and lower that leg. So we begin to lift and hover leg. If you need to modify, you can always tap that toe down for that modification. You can always do a small range of motion as well. Maybe the leg doesn't go this high today. Reach in towards that ankle. Find your oblique contraction. Pull navel into spine and drop the shoulder way down the back. The bottom leg is in that bent position, so a soft supported leg here. Pull the belly in and reach. Push energy down into that ankle. Squeeze and contract. Press and lengthen that toe tip way away from the body. Pulse right here. So feeling again the energy of the push down into the ankle. Again, scooping belly in. Always thinking about that core contraction, nice and strong. Hand goes to hip. We've got those little tiny baby circles really focusing on the derriere here. You're gonna start to feel that fatigued within your booty. Up and around, baby circles here. Micro movements, standing leg strong and supported. Let's reverse it right here. Are you feeling that booty? I'm feeling that booty right about now. Up and around, press that heel to the opposite wall. Really strong flexion within that foot. Press and reach. We'll move right along from here, going into our arabesque. So stretch your toe tip nice and long. Pull into that arabesque and then bring it into your toe tap. So we reach nice and long away from the body. Pull it back. You want to feel that long line within the body and then stretch up. Remember, you are going to feel a gentle pinch within the back. It's okay. We're working through the back. Keep the core taut to protect through the back as well. Reach. Press. Breathe through the exercise. Reach, drop that right shoulder down, pull it away in opposition, and then lengthen the body tall here. Press and stretch. One last one, press. Reach in those mini little tiny arabesque pulses. Stretch your toe tip and your knee nice and long to create those beautiful, sexy, long legs right here, bend that bottom leg. Attitude shape, bring it back in. So we lift, pull, low abs in, drop the shoulders. Maintaining this shape the entire time. Lift up with control, and then lower down with control. Pull up, lower down into the ankle, press. So all of these movements, 
contain fluidity and a softness to them. Lift and lower, but a fierce contraction within the derriere, sculpting through booty here. Your standing leg is getting a lot of work as well, just to hold the body up here. Lift and lower, hold, pulse it up. We're almost there, keep pushing that body. Breathe, sculpt to finish. One, little baby pulses here, press. One last one, stand tall, take it into our stretch, open out to second, pull navel in, twist up and around, stretching through the back and the shoulders here. Breathe into it. Take it to the opposite side, pull the belly in, twist and rinse up and around, looking over the right side body. Inhale. Exhale, we'll take it to our breath center here. Inhale, and then exhale out. 